Hi, welcome to the TMC Net Newsroom. I'm Eric Linask, and I'm here with TMC Net's President Rich Tarani. Hi again, Rich. Hey, Eric. How are you? I'm well. Now, there's some interesting stuff going on. We've talked about phones uh, recently, and there's just a lot of stuff going on in the news. One of the neat things, one of the more interesting things, uh, is this uh, holographic technology that uh, that CNN employed recently. You've read about that, right? Yes, it's uh, interesting. I didn't see it live, but I did uh, go to CNN to their website and, and download the video and, and take a look at it from uh, a few times just to get a sense of what they did. And I read a, a bunch about their technology and what they were uh, employing. Basically, what CNN did was they uh, employed a virtual newscaster or a virtual uh, person via this uh, holographic technology, and they had 35 um, cameras that were high-definition cameras aimed on a person in one location, and those cameras all coordinated with uh, cameras at CNN's headquarters in Atlanta, and uh, they were able to have an image show up uh, that looked three-dimensional, very similar to what you used to see in the old uh, Star Wars movies with uh, their uh, 3D hologram uh, or holographic effect. So it wasn't a real holograph in that they didn't actually appear within the studio, but on camera it kind of was superimposed, so it looked like it appeared. Sort of like the, the, uh, the green screens that, uh, that uh, they're using in, in a lot of instances in uh, Major League Baseball parks and, and various other uh, cases as well. Um, just to project that image to the viewers. Exactly. And so, so the reason we're even talking about this today, I mean, you might wonder what this has to do with communications and technology. Well, uh, the, the whole avenue of uh, video conferencing and telepresence and the growth of that market has been phenomenal. And we're seeing companies like Cisco and HP and uh, Polycom and LifeSize and many others actually producing great technology that is uh, replacing travel. So it's cutting companies travel expenses and and as the technology gets better and better we're seeing that companies are adopting it or are more comfortable with it now the whole point of this next generation technology now or uh, this holographic technology which I I actually call hollow presence instead of telepresence is that uh, we could see now the next phase I and mean, this this newscast could be the next phase of that technology now it's very early not too many people are going to be able to deploy uh, 35 uh, HD cameras in each location on each person. I mean, obviously, it's going to take time for the cost to get low enough where it can be implemented. But it is uh, possibly something that we will see in the future where, where telepresence will become three-dimensional and holographic communications will take off. Now you mentioned you mentioned the cost factor. Certainly, the telepresence space itself uh, is, is has been somewhat limited by by costs. Uh, you mentioned Polycom and, and some of the others that have these huge telepresence uh, facilities um, that cost ten, tens of thousands of dollars, hundreds, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Um, is there a, any way that you can uh, conceive of to to bring this uh, sort of uh, hollow presence, as you call it, uh, into a sort of personal space, um, downsize it a little bit? Eventually, like other technologies, I mean, we've seen that uh, even telepresence technology has gone downstream, and you can get uh, personal telepresence solutions for five, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars, depending on uh, the type of monitor you use and the type of uh, trade-offs that you're you're willing to. Uh, put up with. So the technology will get cheaper like everything else and cameras will get cheaper and uh, we will see this filter down. Now again this was the first time that we've seen it uh, on TV so it's going to take time. We'll, we'll see if it becomes common uh, on TV networks. I imagine it will continue there if, if it does gain traction and then from there it'll filter down to, to boardrooms. Now uh, about a year, year and a half ago I had heard a lot of the um, the oil companies and the financial companies were buying telepresence solutions and so it remains to be seen if that the money in those industries is still there to, to focus on telepresence and eventually uh, upgrades to telepresence which which I call again hollow presence. Very interesting stuff certainly it's come a long way from uh, Star Wars and Princess Leia to uh, CNN newsroom and uh, 35 high definition video cameras um, as Rich, Rich mentioned uh, the costs of, uh, all these devices and products are always coming down, so it'll be very interesting to see where Hollow Presence goes from here. Thanks yeah. a lot, Rich. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you, Eric.